Hello and welcome to CBT with my name is Hurang and in this video I'll show you how to use packet tracer to configure IP telephony. But before configuring that I have to mention that uh, if you're using if you want to use packet tracer to study CCNA it doesn't support all features of a CCNA voice but for basic configurations and some practices it's good. So Let's start with configuring uh, IP telephony in Packet Tracer. For that purpose, I will build up a topology. Uh, first, I'll start with the router, 2800 router. Uh, this is the router that supports voice. So I changed the name of this router to Unified Communication Manager Express. And I need another router to work uh, let's choose this router to work as a DHCP server for me. So DHCP server. Either you can choose a server to uh, play the role of DHCP server for you or uh, a router. So in this case, I'll, I'm going to choose a router. Then I need a switch. And I need a few IP phones that I choose them from end user and devices that I have here. So I'll bring in three IP phones. Now we need to connect all these phones and uh, routers to the switch. So I use a straight through cable. Make sure that you connect your straight to cable to the switch port of the phone and not the PC one. PC is for connecting the phone to a PC. So port one, port two, and port three. I use port 10 for connecting to this communication manager express and uh, 11 to my DHCP server all right so first I configure DHCP server so enable global configurations interface fast either at 0 slash 0 IP address that I'm going to assign to DHCP server is 172.16.1.2.255.255.255. Uh, and no shut down to bring up the port. Okay, so I use 1.2 for the HCP server. I'm going to use 1.1 for my router. So if you want to configure the HCP server, first you have to exclude the addresses that you want you don't want to assign to your devices that you have. So first IP oh, we have to global configurations IP DHCP exclude addresses 172.16.1.1 to 172.16.1. Let's say 5. So the first address that will be assigned is 1.6. Now I create my pool, the HCP pool, the HCP pool, and the name will be phones. So the address, the network will be 172.16.1.0255255255050 and the default router will be 172.16.1.1 and you have one more thing that you have to configure and that's option 150. Option 150 tells the phones where to refer to reach their TFTP server. So now option 150 is 172.16.1.1 which is the IP address I forgot to put IP here this is the IP address of your communication manager so I'm telling these phones that you can refer to this address 
to find out your uh, TFTP server. TFTP server uh, helps the phones uh, provide the phones with their firmware. But in Packet Tracer, you don't uh, need to configure any TFTP server. Okay, so I'm done with my uh, DHCP server. This DHCP server is connected to the port uh, Fast Ethernet 011 of this switch. So later I come back to the configuration of this switch. Let's go and configure our router, uh, which is our communication manager router. So again, global configurations, interface fast in a zero slash zero. First, I bring up this interface and then I go out and I create a sub interface because usually you want to uh, separate your voice network from your data network. So you have to create different VLANs for your voice and your data. And then you have to use router on the stick to route between different networks or to work as a default gateway with just one uh, connection to the one one uh, connection to the switch. So I'm going to choose interface fast Ethernet uh, zero slash zero slash zero dot let's say five which will be my voice VLAN. Okay, now I have to change the encapsulation to dot one q for VLAN 5 and the IP address will be 172.16.1.1 and the class C subnet mask. All right. Uh, so I'm done with this part of the router. We configure this IP address and I leave it like this for now, then we go to configure our switch. First I have to create VLAN for my voice network. So I say VLAN 5, it is my network of phones. And then I have another VLAN which is VLAN 10 and that's my uh, network of data or PC but I don't have any computer here but if you want you can add computers to these phones or this switch and uh, assign them to this data network but for now we don't have it so uh, let's go with the phones without PCs uh, next step I have to assign these three ports to uh, to data network because I might have computers here and uh, then I will tell this uh, tell, configure that another VLAN for voice is VLAN 5 so let me configure it and then I explain uh, explain that concept uh, so interface fast Ethernet interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 2 3 switch port mode will be access switch port access VLAN 10 that's my data VLAN so I put these ports as part of VLAN, data VLAN because if you have a computer connected to this phone you want that computer to be, to be a part of VLAN 10 but since the computer and phone are using the same uh, same connection to the switch there must be another way that I tell this phone that you are not part of VLAN 10. You are part of VLAN 5. To do that, under these interfaces, I type switch port voice VLAN is VLAN 5. So now, if you have a computer connected to this phone, the computer will go to VLAN 10. But the phone knows that it has to go to VLAN 5. It has to send its data to VLAN 5. Okay. Next, I have to put these interfaces to their own VLANs. So this is my DHCP server, fast Ethernet 011. Interface fast Ethernet 011, switch port mode access, and switch port access VLAN 5, which is my voice VLAN. The other interface that we have 0 slash 10 
This interface must be a trunk port because it goes to both VLANs. This is this router. This is our router on the stick. So uh, switch port mode will be trunk for this interface. OK, so, so far I've configured a DHCP server here. I've configured my router on the stick here. And this router will be my communication manager, but I haven't done anything about IP telephony on this router. Before doing anything, I'm going to go and start up these phones. So I click on the phone and click on this cord that you have here, drag and connect it to this connector. Now your phone is booting up. So we'll do this for all three phones. Now while my phones are booting up, I go to this router and we go to telephony service. And we have to configure our directory numbers, e-phones and IP source uh, source address. So first maximum directory number. Here I have just three phones so I say maximum directory number is 10. Maximum e-phones are 5. And IP source address will be 172.16.1 dot one dot one port 2000 this is the IP address and the port through which our IP phones uh, communicate with uh, our communication manager express so we're done with this part okay let's go to our phones and see if they have uh, received an IP address for our DHCP server so as you can see here, they have received IP addresses 1.7 and 1.8. We can check it in our DHCP server as well. Show IP uh, DHCP bindings. And you can see that these three addresses that are assigned to these three phones. Now, after configuring these three, when you go to privilege mode and you type show e-phones you'll see that these three phones are registered with this communication manager but uh, they still don't have we, you can see that the MAC address is already registered but they still don't have any IP address or any number now I have to configure my directory numbers assign num uh, phone numbers to the directory numbers and then uh, associate these phones with those directory numbers so let's do that you go to global configurations you type e phone dn e phone dn am i okay e phone some spelling problem here e phone dn1 and number that I'm going to assign to that is for example 6001 exit ephone dn2 number will be 6002 and ephone dn3 number 6003 exit now we create our ephones E phone one and I say button one is assigned the first directory number E phone two I assign the second directory number to that and E phone three Button one dot three. The third number is assigned to e phone three. Okay. Now if I type show e phones again, you'll see that now 
iPhones are registered. This is the IP address. And uh, where is the number? This is the number that we have assigned to each phone. Second phone and the IP, the, uh, the phone number. Third phone and the phone number. So let's go to our phones and try. This is 6001. 6002 and 6003. So let's dial 6001 from 6003. So now ringing out, we go to 6001. You see that here we, we have received a call from 6003. If I answer the call, it's connected. Now if 6002 dials one of these numbers like 6001 will receive a busy tone. Uh, for packet tracer, you cannot configure to have dual line so that you configure call waiting or all those stuff. Uh, it's just a uh, simple configurations uh, to just um, practice the basic of IP telephony. Uh, so that's all about uh, IP telephony configurations uh, with uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. I hope uh, this video is helpful to you and uh, thank you for watching.